the modified discrete cosine transform is a lap transform based on the type IV discrete cosine transform, with the additional property of being lapped, it is designed to be performed on consecutive blocks of a larger data set, where subsequent blocks are overlapped so that the last half of one block coincides with the first half of the next block. This overlapping, in addition to the energy compaction qualities of the DCT, makes the MDCT especially attractive for signal compression applications, since it helps to avoid artifacts stemming from the block boundaries. As a result of these advantages, the MDCT is employed in most modern lossy audio formats, including MP3, AC3, 4Bs, Windows Media and Audio, ATRAC, Cook, AAC, and Opus. The MDCT was proposed by Princeton, Johnson, and Bradley in 1987, following earlier work by Princeton and Bradley to develop the MDCT's underlying principle of time domain aliasing cancellation, described below. In MP3, the MDCT is not applied to the audio signal directly, but rather to the output of a 32 band polyphase quadrature filter bank. The output of this MDCT is pus processed by an alias reduction formula to reduce the typical aliasing of the PQF filter bank. Such a combination of a filter bank with an MDCT is called a hybrid filter bank or a sub and MDCT AAC, on the other hand, normally uses a pure MDCT. Only the MPEG4 AAC SS variant uses a full band PQF bank followed by an MDCT. Similar to MP3, ATRAC uses stacked quadrature mirror filters followed by an MDCT. Definition As a lap transform, the MDCT is a bit unusual compared to other Fourier related transforms in that it has half as many outputs as inputs. In particular, it is a linear function. The two n real numbers XO, X2 n1 are transformed into the n real numbers XO, XN1 according to the formula. The normalization coefficient in front of this transform, here unity, is an arbitrary convention and differs between treatments. Only the product of the normalizations of the MDCT and the IMDCT, below, is constrained. Equals inverse transform equals, the inverse MDCT is known as the IMDCT. Because there are different numbers of inputs and outputs, at first glance it might seem that the MDCT should not be invertible. However, perfect invertibility is achieved by adding the overlapped IMDCTs of subsequent overlapping blocks, causing the errors to cancel and the original data to be retrieved. This technique is known as time domain aliasing cancellation. The IMDCT transforms n real numbers XO, XN1 into two n real numbers YO, Y2N1 according to the formula. Like for the DCT IV, an orthogonal transform, the inverse has the same form as the Ford transform. In the case of a windowed MDCT with the usual window normalization, the normalization coefficient in front of the IMDCT should be multiplied by 2. Equals computation equals, although the direct application of the MDCT formula would require O, N2, operations, it is possible to compute the same thing with only O, and log N, complexity by recursively factorizing the computation as in the fast Fourier transform. One can also compute MDCTs via other transforms, typically a DFT or a DCT, combined with O, N, BRI and post-processing steps. Also, as described below, any algorithm for the DCT IV immediately provides a method to compute the MDCT and IMDCT of even size. Window functions, in typical signal compression applications, the transform properties are further improved by using a window function WN that is multiplied with XN and N in the MDCT and IMDCT formulas, above, in order to avoid discontinuities at the N equals 0 and 2N boundaries by making the function go smoothly to 0 at those points. In principle, X and Y could have different window functions, and the window function could also change from one block to the next but for simplicity we consider the common case of identical window functions for equal size blocks. The transform remains invertible, for a symmetric window WN equals W2N1N, as long as W satisfies the Prince and Bradley condition, various window functions are used. 
a window that produces a form known as a modulated lap transform is given by and is used for MP3 and MPEG2 AAC, and for Vorbees. AC3 uses a Kaiser Bessel derived window, and MPEG4 AAC can also use a KBD window. Note that windows applied to the MDCT are different from windows used for some other types of signal analysis, since they must fulfill the Prince and Bradley condition. One of the reasons for this difference is that MDCT windows are applied twice, for both the MDCT and the IMDCT. Relationship to DCT IV and origin of TDAC, as can be seen by inspection of the definitions, for even N the MDCT is essentially equivalent to a DCT IV, where the inputs is shifted by N slash 2 and 2 N blocks of data are transformed at once. By examining this equivalence more carefully, important properties like TDAC can be easily derived. In order to define the precise relationship to the DCT IV, one must realize that the DCT IV corresponds to alternating even odd boundary conditions, even at its left boundary, odd at its right boundary, and so on. This follows from the identities and. Thus, if its inputs are an array X of length n, we can imagine extending this array to and so on, where X are denotes X in reverse order. Consider an MDCT with two n inputs and n outputs, where we divide the inputs into four blocks each of size n slash 2. If we shift these to the right by n slash 2, then extend past the end of the MDCT IV inputs, so we must fold them back according to the boundary conditions described above. Thus, the MDCT of two n inputs is exactly equivalent to a DCT IV of the n inputs, where R denotes reversal as above. In this way, any algorithm to compute the DCT IV can be trivially applied to the MDCT. Similarly, the IMDCT formula above is precisely one half of the DCT IV, where the output is extended to a length 2 in and shifted back to the left by n slash 2. The inverse DCT IV would simply give back the inputs from above. When this is extended via the boundary conditions and shifted, one obtains. I M D C T M D C T A B C D equals slash two. Half of the I M D C T outputs are thus redundant, as bar A R equals A or B R R, and likewise for the last two terms. If we group the inputs into bigger blocks A, B of size n, where A equals A B and B equals C D, we can write this result in a simpler way. I M D C T MDCT, a, b equals slash 2, one can now understand how TDAC works. Suppose that one computes the MDCT of the subsequent, 50% overlapped, 2n block. The IMDCT will then yield, analogous to the above, slash 2. When this is added with the previous IMDCT result in the overlapping half, the reverse terms cancel and one obtains simply b, recovering the original data equals origin of TDAC equals, the origin of the term time domain aliasing cancellation is now clear. The use of input data that extend beyond the boundaries of the logical DCT IV causes the data to be aliased in the same way that frequencies beyond the nighest frequency are aliased to lower frequencies, except that this aliasing occurs in the time domain instead of the frequency domain, we cannot distinguish the contributions of A and of B out of the MDCT if, or equivalently, to the result of IMDCT, MDCT, A, B, C, D equals slash 2. The combinations car doctor and so on, have precisely the right signs for the combinations to cancel when they are added. For odd n, n slash 2 is not an integer so the MDCT is not simply a shift permutation of a DCT if. In this case, the additional shift by half a sample means that the MDCT IMDCT becomes equivalent to the DCT II, and the analysis is analogous to the above. Equals smoothness and discontinuities equals, we have seen above that the MDCT of two N inputs is equivalent to a DCT IV of the N inputs. The DCT IV is designed for the case where the function at the right boundary is odd, and therefore the values near the right boundary are close to zero. If the input signal is smooth, this is the case, the rightmost components of A and B are consecutive in the input sequence, and therefore their difference is small. 
let us look at the middle of the interval, if we rewrite the above expression as equals a, b, c, r, the second term, r, gives a smooth transition in the middle. However, in the first term there is a potential discontinuity where the right end of AD meets the left end of A. This is the reason for using a window function that reduces the components near the boundaries of the input sequence towards zero. Equals TDAC for the windowed MDCT equals, above, the TDAC property was proved for the ordinary MDCT, showing that adding IMDCTs of subsequent blocks in their overlapping half recovers the original data. The derivation of this inverse property for the windowed MDCT is only slightly more complicated. Consider two overlapping consecutive sets of two n inputs and, for blocks A, B, C of size n recall from above that when and are MDCTED, inked and added in their overlapping half, we obtain, the original data. Now we suppose that we multiply both the MDCT inputs and the IMDCT outputs by a window function of length 2n. As above, we assume a symmetric window function, which is therefore of the form where W is a length n vector and a denotes reversal as before. Then the Prince and Bradley condition can be written as, with the squares and additions performed elementwise. Therefore, instead of mdcting, we now mdct. When this is mdcted and multiplied again by the window function, the last n half becomes. Note that we no longer have the multiplication by one half because the IMDCT normalization differs by a factor of 2 in the windowed case. Similarly, the windowed MDCT and IMDCT of yields, in its first n half. When we add these two halves together, we obtain. Recovering the original data. See also, other overlapping windowed Fourier transforms include, modulated complex lap transform, short time Fourier transform, Welch's method. References. Enrique Smolva, Signal Processing with Lap Transforms. A. W. Johnson and A. B. Bradley, Adaptive Transform Coding Incorporating Time Domain Aliasing Cancellation, Speechcom 6, 299-308. For algorithms, see for example, Chi Min Liu and Wen Chai Li, a unified fast algorithm for cosine modulated filter banks in current audio standards. J Audio Engineering 47, 1061 to 1075. V Britannac and K R Rao, a new fast algorithm for the unified Ford and inverse MDCT MDST computation. Signal Processing 82, 433 to 459. Vladimir Nikolajevic and Gerard Fetwery, computation of Ford and inverse MDCT using Clenshaw's recurrence formula, i.e. trans. Sig. Proc 51, 1439-1444, Che Hong Chen, Bin Da Liu, and Jafa Yang, Recursive Architectures for Realizing Modified Discrete Cosine Transform and Its Inverse, i.e. trans. Circuits Syst. 2, Analog Dig. Sig. Proc 50, 38-45, J.S. Wu, H. Zhu, L. Sen Hadi, and L. M. Leo. Mixed Radix Algorithm for the Computation of Ford and Inverse MDCTs, i.e. trans. Circuits Syst. I. Reg. Papers 56, 784-794, v. Britannac, A Survey of Efficient MDCT Implementations in MP3 Audio Coding Standard, Retrospective and State-of-the-Art, Signal. Process 91. 624 to 672, 2011. And references thereof.